Skywatch Media News for May 27th, 2020. New satellite data from the European Space Agency is showing that the mysterious presence known as the South Atlantic Anomaly is continuing to evolve, further weakening Earth's magnetic field. The recent observations indicate that we could soon be witnessing another strange phenomenon. The so-called South Atlantic Anomaly is a giant expanse of reduced magnetic intensity in the Earth's magnetic field. The anomaly extends from South America all the way across the Atlantic to Southwest Africa. This is an important observation for the fact that our magnetic field acts as a buffer, protecting our planet from solar winds and cosmic radiation, as well as determining the locations of the magnetic poles. Any reduction in shield strength must be monitored closely since any deviation in strength could result in serious implications for our welfare as well as that of our planet. Although the evolving anomaly is an event that is closely monitored, there is no particular reason to be overly concerned, at least for the moment. The most consequential events at this time are limited to technical malfunctions with satellites and spacecraft. These mechanisms are exposed to greater amounts of charged particles in low Earth orbit as they pass through the South Atlantic Anomaly, above South America and in the Southern Atlantic Ocean. The significance of the South Atlantic Anomaly cannot be diminished for obvious reasons. In the past 200 years, the Earth's magnetic field has lost, on average, at least 10% of its strength. According to the European Space Agency, the minimum field strength, referred to as a unit of magnetic flux called a nanotesla, has dropped within the South Atlantic region from 24,000 to 22,000 nanoteslas, this taking place within the past half century. What's so alarming about the observation in the South Atlantic is that no one understands why this is happening. It's a complete mystery. We know the Earth's magnetic field is generated by electrical currents produced by the liquid iron that is located in the outer core of our planet. The phenomenon may appear to be stable, but in reality the outer core is always on the move. It never remains stationary. Therefore, the Earth's magnetic field is consistently in a state of flux, where every 300,000 years, give or take, the magnetic field flips and the north and south magnetic poles trade places. It's entirely possible that this process occurs more frequently than what most people may think. This is why the movement of the Earth's magnetic poles has geophysicists second-guessing as to when the next big shift will occur. It's still a mystery as to whether the magnetic reversals are connected to what's currently taking place within the South Atlantic Anomaly. It has been suggested that the large reservoir of very dense rock that is located under the continent of Africa may be involved in this process. This region of dense rock is called the African Large Low Shear Velocity Province. Its effect on the reversal process remains unknown. What is quite certain is that the South Atlantic Anomaly is on the move. It is evolving. Since the year 1970, the anomaly has been increasing. It is moving towards the west at a pace of 12 miles per year. But here is something even more concerning. New readings provided by the European Space Agency's swarm satellites are showing that in the past five years, a second region of minimum intensity is emerging within the anomaly. This suggests that the entire anomaly could be in the process of splitting into two separate entities. So what we may be looking at is two independent cells, 
the original anomaly being located directly above South America, and the new one developing to the east off the coast of Southwest Africa. The white dots on this map show individual radiation events from April of the year 2014 through August of the year 2018. The background displays the magnetic field strength registered by a swarm satellite at an altitude of 279 miles, or 450 kilometers. The phenomenal five-year increase in cosmic radiation across the South Atlantic anomaly is seen here. And so there you have it. According to geophysicists, a second anomaly in the South Atlantic is rapidly developing. And so now it becomes imperative that the process within the Earth's core that may be driving these changes be thoroughly investigated. At present, the concern swirling around the current weakening of the field is the speculation as to whether the Earth is in the grasp of an imminent magnetic pole reversal. It now appears that the process may play out much sooner than many of us had anticipated. Over the past decade, the number of individual meteor and fireball sightings has steadily increased and so has the number of near-Earth asteroids identified by telescopes that scan the sky. The proof can be found in the numbers. Back in November of 2019, the number of NEO stood at roughly 21,000, and now, six months later, the number has jumped to 23,000 and still counting. Many of the individual sightings has been identified as incoming space rocks, while some have gone unexplained. Just recently, a sighting took place over the UK, which falls into the category of the unidentified. To the amazement of eyewitnesses, the flaming presence, described as a capsule-like object, was seen spiraling in the downward trajectory, preceded by a trail of orange smoke over the British city of Edinburgh. The identification of the object as possibly being a meteor was quickly ruled out by eyewitnesses because the object was not moving at a quick pace. It was actually moving slow enough to be recorded on video for more than a minute's time. Some have speculated that the object was a comet fragment, while others have insisted it was an aircraft. Whatever the object may actually be, authorities are not commenting, 
and astronomers seem to have no clue. As it turns out, this is not the first such sighting to occur in the sky over England. Last month, a similar sighting took place over Cambridgeshire, when a burning object was photographed hurtling through the sky for nearly 20 minutes. The American astronomer and planetary scientist Carl Sagan was a great interpreter and communicator of everything related to the cosmos. He best described the universe in his own words. The cosmos is all that is, or was, or ever will be. Our feeblest contemplations of the cosmos stir us. There is a tingling in the spine, a catch in the voice, a faint sensation, as if a distant memory of falling from a height. We know we are approaching the greatest of mysteries. Thanks for watching.